patients who are having any trouble breathing, who have fallen down or collapsed, um, new seizures, uh, we definitely want to see those patients and evaluate them uh, as urgently as possible. My name is Dr. Jonathan Bach, Clinical Assistant Professor at UW Veterinary Care. I'm boarded in both small animal internal medicine as well as emergency and critical care. I'm section head of the Emergency Critical Care Service. Emergencies are very difficult to handle. The number one emergency prevention tip I can encourage people is preparedness. So planning ahead, um, trying to remain calm as well. Having everything here is a, a huge advantage in that we don't need to transport to another facility for additional diagnostics or consultation. Having complete care is such a luxury. Uh, so when we need a consultation from neurology or dermatology or cardiology, those things are pretty easy for us to come by. Certainly we have radiology, x-rays and ultrasound, and sometimes uh, advanced imaging like a CAT scan or myelogram. Laboratory services are available around the clock. Um, anesthesia and surgery are available around the clock, as well as supportive measures that your pet needs related to critical care that might uh, entail transfusions, might entail nutrition therapies, uh, certainly pain medications and various, uh, various medications from pharmacy. We have a, a variety of advanced monitoring tools and techniques. Uh, we have a, a fully stocked transfusion program uh, with blood products and plasma products available for dogs and cats. We have a respirator for patients that suffer um, respiratory emergencies and need uh, supplemental oxygen or mechanical ventilation. Um, we have a dialysis team as well for patients that need dialysis. Really, we're, I feel we're fully equipped to manage any emergency uh, day or night. 24-7, we have technicians here, veterinarians here, members of my team, and I'm available 24-7 for calls and consultation, um, and it's not uncommon that I'll come in in the middle of the night. Once your animal is stabilized, our team is going to work together to formulate a diagnostic and treatment plan for your pet. We're also going to communicate with your family veterinarian to keep them involved and uh, informed as to what's going on. We see some amazing cases, patients that are uh, completely collapsed, non-responsive, uh, and we've worked through uh, resuscitating that patient, working through the diagnostic process, uh, and ultimately the treatment process to see that pet recover and turn around and go home with some uh, uh, extremely grateful clients. Any signs you find concerning in your pet that are unusual, feel free to give us a call. We're happy to answer those questions for you and try to help you decide if your pet should be seen now or if your pet can wait till the next business day. When preparing to come see us for an emergency, try to remain calm. If they're on any medication, if you're able to bring that substance with so we know exactly what it is. If there's a toxicity, bringing the packaging along uh, is going to be extremely helpful as well. Uh, move your pet safely so that you don't injure yourself or your pet um, and call us en route or before you leave 608-263-7600. Let's get healthy.